Next up, we're back in the Middle East, where the Barbican Turbo Show promised loads and delivered even more. Boards of Middle East federal heads visited the Abu Dhabi National Exhibition Center to get an eyeful of hot wheels, hot drifting, and the occasional hot chick. A lot of nice custom cars to look at, and uh, I love, you know, they've got the drifting outside, which is really fun to watch. And uh, we're looking out for our female drivers, fellow female drivers out there, so that's been great. We've got a few different features. Last year we had the EDC, which is the European Drift Championships. This year we brought Team Orange, who are regarded as the world champions. Uh, we've brought three cars, and it's the first time the UAE has seen the Drift Queen demonstrating some of her highly, highly talented skills. The Team Orange crew are best known for their stunt work in the movie The Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift. We have uh, the driver, uh, this time Kumakubo, uh, is the world champion of the uh, 2006. Also uh, Naoto Suenaga, uh, also the, he's uh, like a, a front runner uh, of the, uh, the championship. And the uh, first time in the uh, Middle East, uh, Sumika Kubokawa, she's the number one female uh, drifter in the world. Back inside and the customised, tuned and modified cars were also attracting enthusiastic crowds. As well as wild creations and extreme modified cars, the region's growing bike culture had a strong presence, with judges tasked to find the best custom chopper. There was also a stunning collection of some all-time classics on show for the muscle car enthusiast. The 2010 Barbican Turbo Show proved once again that it's more than just a custom car and bike show. The Adrenaline Sports Live Show highlighted the fact that the vibe was all about street culture and style, with breakdancing competitions, skateboarding, BMX riders and free-running demonstrations all wowing the crowds. But of course, for most people, it's the cars they've come to see, and best in class this year range from a classic Ford Model T to a mean green Porsche Cayenne, with a whole bunch of unique creative customs in between. And if you didn't get to visit the show this year, then watch this space for details of when the 2011 event is about to kick off.